What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today, Team of the Year is over, and we packed zero Team of the Years, but Road to the Final is upon us, we're going to check out what we get for content today, hopefully it's not as glitchy and broken as what Team of the Year has been for the last week, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to leave the video, like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and with that being said, let's go hop into today's video. And so, to start things off, I think we should show the end of Team of the Year. This is what we end up with. Uh, I was surprisingly quite happy about this last night. The updated team, this is where we're at. A lot of upgrades, a lot of added in players, but nothing really too special. Um, I've got to say that obviously we packed, what was it, nine honourable mentions altogether with about eighty to 85,000 FIFA points spent and hundreds of packs opened. It didn't really go too well. So hopefully... And I say hopefully, um, we are going to see a very positive start to Road to the Final. Now, in terms of the team, I have seen the Leap team because I kind of wanted to get ahead just to get a rough idea of what we were ex kind of expecting to see in all honesty. Um, hopefully it's good. And this is the team we have. Liao, Cruz, Pedri, Jesus, Donnarumma, Horan, Lukaku, Fati, Darwin Nunes. I'm super excited about that. Um, Sule's in there, loads of different cards. Um, basically, in short, celebrate the knockout stages of Europe's top clubs uh, with Road to the Final. Each Road to the Final item is given an initial boost and then obviously they'll potentially grow on um, with possible five upgrades, um, which would be really, really nice to see. There is a range from plus one inform, skill moves, weak foot and play style plus upgrades. So by the end of you know Road to the Final, we could see a play style plus times two or times three on a card obviously because it'll be towards the end of the game it kind of makes sense uh, road to the final upgrades will be released in game on a friday after the most recent matches so if they play on a thursday it'll be upgraded on a friday in short quite good for me eight no free packs though uh, they also did tweet about the messy situation uh team of the year messy gate has been uh told and basically nothing's gonna happen shock uh but yeah apart from that there's, there's a good few options here we're going to go and check them all out because i am kind of excited to see what impacts obviously not many people have packs right now because everybody's ripped them open i ripped through 10 player picks i did 82 times 20s i did everything to try and get a final team of the year and it just didn't happen uh, but in terms of what we have basically sbcs daily sbcs well, well pretty much daily sbcs by the looks of it giving us some fodder packs nothing too special but it's all right a mega pack isn't great um the road to the final UEFA tour. So lots of XP for three different player, which I quite like. Do you get out? Yeah, you get one at the end. So Glano at the end, as well as Boscagli. You got Dix, which typical EA to put that in. Uh, and you also get David Neres. So again, quite easy to do. Win seven with goals from at least one Brazilian pair game. Assist at least one goal pair game using defenders. Which again shouldn't really be too hard having six Dutch players. This one you don't need to have a limitation, and this one you need to have a minimum six in to concede one or less in four games. So, quite a few games to do, but you've got like nearly two weeks to do it, so it should be more than fine. Um, in terms of everything else, there is nothing new in Milestone, so that is it for objectives. In terms of Evos, a lot did expire, so we might get a brand new one today. I'm not really too sure. Um, we've got a few days left on the initial icon upgrade, so do that if you wish so to do so. Uh, in terms of this, I think double pursuit we already had. All of that is still the same. So nothing new in terms of Evos today. Bit of a surprise in all honesty. Um, kind of expected that we might have had something. SBCs, I presume there's going to be a player SBC. Joshua Kimmich coming in. This could actually be a really fun card. Bang could get through to a few other stages. He's got two playstyles on him already. So two playstyle plus. Long ball and ping pass. I think this could be one of the best holding midfielders or maybe sort of box to box midfielders i think this card is really really good it is a little bit expensive four segments an 84 and 85 an 86 and an 88 honestly i'd actually say that that's worth it three informs needed across the whole thing but to me it's probably worthwhile doing this card you're not going to see many people now running with a lot of double play style pluses because obviously they're mainly on team of the years so him being one of the first in terms of a non-team of the year card I quite like that. Upgrades are still there for a day. So it is actually worth grinding these for the extra day because there's so many different like players in packs right now from these leagues that you do have a good chance. And also, it's going to be a little bit easier to pack these promo cards now. So please don't worry. You probably will still pack something half decent this week. Uh, it's not 
the worst thing in the world. Uh, we also have the Team of the Week play pick back for up to week 20 of Team of the Weeks. EA just constantly releasing these, but you know what? I really like it because it's something that we need and that we need to grind through, so fair play to them. We also had two Player of the Month release today, uh, Rodriguez and Broby. Again, decent cards, but a little bit behind the meta considering the stage of the year that we're at. And that seems to be it for that. So, we've got two things to check out. One, what have we actually got um, in terms of a team? Because I'm hoping it's probably quite a good team. Um, I'd be shocked if it wasn't like an incredible team. A lot of people loving the looks of Joshua Kimmich. Obviously, a lot of playstyle pluses on these cards. So, I think that will help out quite a bit. Um, but the initial team is here for us to check out. Um, as I say, Champions League, UEFA, um, Europa League, and then we also have Conference League and then the Women's Champions League as well, which I really, really like. Extra special cards, can't really complain. So Sule, um, Jimenez, Simmons is getting a special card, so possibly not a future stars for him, who knows. Uh, Marino's getting one and Nguisa's getting one as well. Uh, we also missed out Teller. There was an issue with this card. If you had evo this card, you got like a 98 or 99 rated card. It was ridiculous. Again, EA messed up. Um, Emerson's in there as well. We have Fatty in there. I think Fatty could be a really, really fun card to use. Bailey's in there, which is all right. Ganales, again, it, it's not bad, but it's not great. Horan looks actually a really nice card to use if you're using Women's League and players. And then we also have D. Almeida which again is all right, but nothing too special. But a lot of good packs available to us. Well, sorry, not a lot of good packs available to us. Uh, a lot of good players available to us to hopefully pack throughout the week. Um, in terms of looking at the packs, I'm just quickly checking out. Do you know what? Yeah, there's a pack for us to open. Typical degen of, oh, we're going to put on more FIFA points because why not? So whilst I load up FIFA points, we get to continue looking at these teams and an in-depth analysis of we have two play style pluses on Jesus, two on Pedri and two on Cruz, which I think is really, really nice. Two on Liao and then we also have two on Lukaku and Fatty. And then we also have two on Horan as well. So EA starting to add these two play style pluses to these cards, which I think is going to be really, really helpful. It just adds an extra reason to upgrade your card. So as much as the stats may look similar, an extra playstyle plus adds an extra dynamic. So upgrading cards this year, a little bit easier for you to make the most of it. So in terms of what we have, packs on you, we have half-time essentials packs. So we have 30 items with one guarantee to be 85 rated or higher. We have 55 items for the half-time foundations, 81 rated or higher with three guarantee to be 86s. And then we have the half-time premium pack 55 gold items 83 rated to higher and the 587 or higher so there's a good chance of some of these special cards obviously i would love to see it we also have this one here which is 10 items with one guarantee to be 84 rated to higher and then we also get a loan card so we'll see this one first we'll see who we can get we don't get a special card but we will see a loan if that's harland i'm going to be absolutely fuming thankfully it's odegaard i'm actually okay with that being odegaard and we get Two of the brand new cards. We're going to take Donnarumma. He does have an inform, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, we're just going to discard these duplicates to deal with them. And then, yeah, we're going to finish off with this pack. Hopefully, it's going to be good. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new um, the brand new promo. I think it's all right. It could be a lot worse, in all honesty. As always, typical me opening a lot of these packs. The, the normal icebreaker stuff's there, but these are new. I feel like they were added into the pack code a few weeks ago, so no shock. But... EA, can we get a brand new special card from the Halftime Premium Pack? Here we go. Give me a special. It is. It's going to be... Haaland? Hegerberg. That's Champions League. Double playstyle plus on one of the best cards. Can we get Gabriel Jesus, Pedri, Cruz? Please don't be bad. It's Gianluigi Dunarama. I was going to say Gianluigi Buffon. Gianluigi Donnarumma. Uh, very nice. Considering we just got him as a loan card, we will absolutely take that first owner. It's our first blue. This was so much easier to pack than the team of the year, and I won't stop complaining about it. We will absolutely take that pack. Anything in the back? Lots of informs. Plenty of fodder for me to deal with, which will go into part of that Kimmich SBC. But Donnarumma is packed. He's probably going to be quite easy to obtain by the looks of it. As I say, let me know down below what you guys think of this. And for now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.